fact that we recognize that the, every Jewish person, every person actually, is a Tzela Melakim, is created in the image of Hashem, and therefore they are deserving of covenant. And the body was that which housed the neshama, the soul, which is a chelik elokav imbal, something that is an actual spiritual essence of Hashem himself. Hashem blew the neshama into every person. Each of us has a very spiritual part, which is extremely holy. And our belief is that the neshama, at the time of the tahara, is really very much present and very conscious. We're dealing with a person, not with a body. It's a person that is there who is perhaps more sensitive and more aware and more conscious than any of us are. Because they're no longer uh, in a physical body which restricts them in a very physical way. They are the full experience of who they are, the full experience of their life, with an understanding that they are now on the threshold of moving to a higher world, a world that is a spiritual world, the world we call the Olam Ha'emes, the world of truth. Okay, where there is nothing superficial, everything is real. And so they are very aware. And they understand at that point what is covered, and they are very focused on the fact that they want the, the, the body that housed them to be treated with care. There is still a connection. While they're ready to move on, they spend the last 60, 70, 80, 90 years merged together with this body, and so it is still something that they are very much concerned about. So the covenant that we give them is extremely important, and it's objective covenant, how we understand covenant from a traditional perspective, which really represents all of our beliefs. The reason why we do what we do, as opposed to what the secular world might do, although they too want to give respect to their loved one, is based on our understanding of the basic concepts of Judaism, which is there is a neshama, there is a spiritual part of us that lives on eternally, that's first and foremost. Second of all, there's an olam haba, there's a world to come where a person at the end of life has to stand before God and answer questions about their life. What better way to be dressed for that occasion than how the Kohen Gadol was dressed, how the high priest was dressed when he stood in the Kodesh Kodesh, and we're about to read all of those parshios. We started with the building of the Mikdash, we're right, of the Mishkan, we're writing that uh, part of Torah that we read every Shabbos, and now we're going into the Karbanos and how the Kohen Gadol was dressed on Yom Kippur, Parshish Hachimos, just a few weeks away. So that is the most respectful way of dressing the person if we understand what it is that we're doing, what it is this person is now the position that they are in at this point.